So let's take a look at the best chat GPT-4 prompt for a business plan. Let's get started right away. So actually a very simple prompt overall and what's going to really make the difference or make or break in terms of how much detail you want to get into is how much you want to change it around. So help me write a business plan. Here are the important details that can stay the same, right? So this is going to be the example and the things that you want to touch upon. So you want to make sure you give it enough information that it's not going to give you something that you don't want. So depending on how much money you have, say starting as a business, I just put as this example, you know, a thousand dollars for investing. With that in mind, it's not going to have you go out there and try and create the next iPhone because they know that's not within your budget. That's why we have this type of context. So if you want to utilize that, that's good. It's not going to give you anything like I could just said, like creating new iPhones or something, right? I'd like to create a course based on my fitness experience. So what is it that you want to create as an entrepreneur when starting a business? You know, you don't always have to create something in terms of a product. There's always other people's products, but what it is it but what is it that you want to do specifically? Just type this in right here. I would like to blank. You know, this is going to be the big thing, the business. Okay. I've been a personal trainer for many years and am ISSA certified. I used to be a personal trainer. I was ISSA certified. I just happened to put that in there because it relates to what we're going to be talking about in terms of fitness. Okay. So what is your experience? How long have you been doing it? How are you the expert? How can you help? This is just going to be a little bit of a blurb about yourself to give it some more context. So we have pretty much how much you're looking to invest, how much money you have in terms of starting this business. Like I said, if you only have, I don't know, $500, you're probably not going to be running a ton of paid advertising in the beginning. This is talking about your experience, which you can utilize a little bit more for the experience. Excuse me. I, I, I looked at the word experience. This is talking about what you're going to be doing for your business. This is your experience and talk about something that you would preferably want to do. This will once again, give it more context. So it's not going to say, you know, something unrelated to this. What are your two favorite platforms online? Like I love YouTube, obviously, but for someone else, for maybe you, maybe you like using Facebook. Maybe you want to create a Facebook group. Maybe you want to post value that way. It's up to you. So this is going to be the prompt. All of this is very flexible, but now that we know what it's all about, let's hit the arrow. I'm going to pause it because it takes a little bit while to get going and I will be back in a few seconds. All right. So I'm kind of glad there's only one prompt because uh, not only is this one fantabulous. Yes, I just said fantabulous. <laughs> Made up word. It is uh, very long. It's very in-depth and it's just great overall. So we have this right here and we're going to go through keeping this in mind just to like make sure it uses and leverages that information with ChatGPT4, which is much smarter overall. And you're going to notice it gives much better results as we've seen. So the objective of this business plan is to outline the steps required to create and launch a successful online fitness course, leveraging the expertise of a certified personal trainer with extensive experience. This course will utilize social media platforms like YouTube and Facebook to engage with potential clients and market the product. With initial investment of $1,000, the plan will focus on cost-effective strategies to create, promote, and monetize the course. So here's the overview, your business name, just add that in there, right? To empower individuals to achieve their fitness goals by providing accessible, high-quality, engaging online fitness courses. Your name is an ISSA certified personal trainer with number of years of experience in the fitness industry. The primary offering will be an online fitness course consisting of instructional videos, printable workout plans, and nutrition advice. The course will be designed to cater to various fitness levels and goals, including weight loss, muscle gain, and overall fitness improvement. You can probably change that around a little. You know, usually you get people like wanting to lose weight. You know, people looking to gain muscle could be a completely different course, but you know, that's obviously up to you. Target market is for individuals who are seeking affordable and convenient fitness solutions, particularly those who prefer to exercise at home or have limited access to gyms. This market segment includes people of varying age groups, fitness levels, and geographic locations. So, also, kind of another point I could have put up in the beginning is that say like a personal trainer transitioning from doing group fitness or one-on-one -on -one training to actual selling a course. So they can also teach people all over the world and they can do it that way, that type of thing. Or kind of like, what was his name? I forgot. His, there are so many like fitness instructors, kind of like Jillian, where it's almost like you can do fitness classes at home type of thing. That could be courses as well. Okay. Along with like the nutrition advice, uh, we have competition, online fitness courses and trainers, workout apps and local gyms. However, will differentiate itself through its unique personalized approach, leveraging the founder's expertise and engaging social media presence. I guess that's a way of doing it. Just depends on if those competitors are doing that even more, like especially if it's a really big gym or a workout app, you know, kind of engaging with everyone. 
So we have our marketing and sales strategy. I'll kind of go through the beginning aspects, creating high quality content, establishing a strong online presence, engaging with the community, collaborating with influencers and offer incentives. Also definitely like building an email list. That's another good way of doing it. So we have monetization, one-time payments uh, for, for access to the complete online fitness course. You have a subscription model and of course, affiliate marketing if you want to set up an affiliate program. We have financial projections. Given the limited initial investment, see, that's why we talked about in the beginning, like $1,000 max in the beginning, we'll prioritize low-cost strategies to maximize the ROI. Projected expenses include video production, marketing, and website development. Revenue will be generated through core sales and affiliate partnerships with a break-even point expected within the first year of operation. Wow. <laughs> if you're utilizing Facebook and YouTube, I hope it's a lot less than that. My goodness, you are doing something wrong. Within the first year, I hope so. Maybe within the first month. But then again, not everyone has the experience to know that. Anyway, that's just me saying that kind of laugh out loud moment. Implement implementation plan, complete course development, outline the curriculum, film and edit videos, and create supplementary materials, uh, setting up website and payment processing, launching social media marketing, monitoring and adjusting. So some of those are some of the plans. Of course, this, now that I go back to it, um, this one right here really depends on if you're like building a huge business in the beginning, which in the beginning, it doesn't seem like you need that for what we're looking for. So I still stick to that milestones, course development, completion, we have some target dates that we can set, website launch, social media marketing launch, first 100 customers, break even point, and so on and so forth. You could do followers, you could do email subscribers, you could do like free trials, you could do whatever it's going to be. You could have plenty of milestones. But overall, it says by following this business plan, the business name is, aims to establish itself as a trusted and respected source. And that was a solid Solid business plan coming from ChatGPT, ChatGPT4 in particular. In my opinion, you don't really need a whole lot. So let's recoup this one more time. This will be the same if you're copying this. So if you're starting off, this is like how much you have to get started with in terms of the investment. This will let it know that you're not going to be doing a, a whole lot of investing if you only have, say, $1,000. Obviously, that can change for you. What you would like to do, this is the main business model. Do you want to create a course? Do you want to create a software? Do you want to do uh, group coaching or client work? That's up to you. This is going to be some experience that you have had to talk about what you can leverage in terms of your knowledge and something that you would do, say, for like traffic generation, or maybe you love running ads. Maybe you've had experience with that. Maybe you just love organic traffic. Maybe you love blogging and SEO and stuff like that. Maybe you love creating videos on YouTube. It's going to be up to you, but that's just another way of saying like, hey, this is what I have. This is my experience. This is what I want to do. And these are kind of the traffic sources that I want to use, especially for an online business. And that should conclude this when it comes to the chat GPT for, I think, one of the best prompts for a business plan. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.